Hello people this is self tuts and we are continuing our series on understanding the concept of express and in this video we will see what is middleware in express so middleware is the most important concept or the most important thing that you need to understand in express because the whole express is based on a middleware architecture so if you are good at middleware in express then you can write uh, express apps in a different way which will require less line of codes and which will perform much faster and in a elegant way so understanding this concept is the base for designing good apps for express so as the name suggests it comes in middle of something and that something is the request and response cycle so it is middle where so the name suggests it comes in middle of something and that something is what request and response cycle so if you take any web server let it be apache let it be nginx let it be express web server or node js uh, web server then there is a request there is some processing of that request and there is a response so this is the basic thing that every web server has that is request comes web server does some processing based on the logic or the code that we have written and then it gives us a response now middleware has access to request object so you need to understand or keep in mind that middleware has access to the request object of express and middleware has access to the response object also so both request and response object can be accessed by middleware middleware has access to next function of request and response cycle we'll see in details about what this next function is in our subsequent slides but you need to keep in mind that middleware has access to request response and next function so suppose this is the entry point of our express web server or where the client sends the request and this is the exit point from where the web server returns some response so client sends a request and this is the express server which is just like a black box which this which does some processing so this express server has has both the codes the the code from the express also and the code that you have written means your logic your business logic so every client request comes here this black box evaluates something uh, for this client request access the parameter does some database something like that and then it returns the response so this is the request and response cycle of a web server so we are currently seeing it has a black box a single entity now what express does express this is the note point that you need to keep in mind because it is the most important thing that mid all middleware has access to request response and next now again we'll see how the concept of middleware changes the concept of that black box so this is the entry point this is the exit point and the black box has been divided into smaller black boxes so these smaller black boxes are the middlewares so a big server has been divided into smaller means basically it is a server but it has been divided into smaller chunks logically or by writing your codes in such a manner so this whole black thing that we have seen in previous slide as a single chunk has been divided into smaller modules and every smaller module has some functionality to do so this has some functionality say a b c it perform for it perform those thing and it is up to that i don't need to perform everything for the server so suppose it has a responsibility of a it has a responsibility of b then c d and e so everyone is good at following its own responsibility and and performing action on that so what every middleware does every middleware takes the request object takes the response object and perform the things that it need to perform so it has a defined boundary that what i need to perform and then pass to the next middleware so suppose a client request comes so that request is being received by this first middleware so this request this middleware has access to request response and next so we'll see what this next is so suppose this is a middleware that has the responsibility of authentication so what it does if the authentication is uh, correct then my responsibility has been completed but during this entire cycle means from here to here this is the this is the entry point and this is the exit point so this is the request and response cycle so 
In the request and response cycle, this middleware has the responsibility for authentication and if authentication is successful, then my job has been done and I'll pass the request or I will pass to the next middleware. So the first middleware will do the authentication thing and it will pass to the next middleware using this next function. So now I think you have understood that what this next function is that inside this middleware some code will be there to check the authentication like suppose I received a username and password then I went to the database to check that this username and password exist or not and if it exists there then I'll call this next function like this next with two brackets and it will pass the request and response to the next middleware. Same way if the responsibility of this middleware is successfully done then it will pass to the next middleware using next and this to next and this to next and finally we will get the response. So the whole responsibility has been divided into multiple middlewares which has their own responsibility to, to, to perform something and they can one middleware can pass the request and re response object to the next using next middleware by calling this next function. So the importance of next has been successfully explained to you that what this next is. You want to go to the next middleware just call this function next. Now the concept will be more clear if you understand it through some example. So I'll give you the example of authentication middleware. So suppose you are having more than five resource endpoint like get user, get user by ID, delete user, post user. So every uh, routes need authentication because if the user is not authenticated then he is not able to get the data of all the users or get the data of a user by ID or deleting a user. So every get call, post call requires authentication that user is successfully authenticated or not. So this is the entry point of your request, this is the exit point. Now there is a middleware which has the responsibility for authentication. So when the request comes here then this auth middleware will do some authentication logic that you have written inside it and there is another middleware that is get route middleware. So before getting to the get route middleware authentication will be done and then it will be passed to the next middleware. So the client receive a request and the request is received by this auth middleware and it will intercept or it will uh, get the username and password from the request object because every middleware has the access to request object. So it will go to the database and check that this use the, uh, the user that has come in request exists or not and if it successfully exists then it will call next function inside it and the get route middleware will be handled. So you will do some logic here. So before there can be multiple routes here like I have shown you only one but there can be 10 to 20 routes inside your express web app. So you need to write only a single auth middleware for every route. So you can see that you don't need to copy your code everywhere. You just need to write a middleware in the request and response cycle. So this comes in middle of what the request and the get route middleware or it comes in between what request or every route that you have defined. So I think you have understood the name middleware that it comes in middle of something. Now suppose this auth middleware uh, checks something and if the, if the authentication was successful and the get middle uh, route will give a successful response. But if some error occur that user doesn't exist in your database then what will happen the response will be given from here only. So the request response cycle will not go to the next middleware it will be written from here only because this middleware is having the access to response object also. So if it sees that the user is not existing in the database or an incorrect user has logged into my system or is accessing my APIs then I'll just give the response from here. So this middleware has a single responsibility of checking the user and either passing it to the next middleware or giving a response from here. So you can see that using middleware your coding pattern improves so much well and the amount of line of code that you are writing is also decreasing and there is a clean architecture present. Now I will also give an example of logging middleware. So suppose uh, you are running a web server so you need to see that what are the requests that are coming in 
to my web server because any time a problem comes then logs are our best friend so you need to write those logs inside a file and for that you can use a logging middleware so you can create your own logging middleware but we'll create in subsequent videos we'll create our own logging middleware but here we need to understand the concept so this is the entry point that is request this is the exit point that is the from where the response will be sent now this is my middleware and it is a logging middleware which has the responsibility to log about the request detail like what is the request url that has been hit what is the body what is the data inside the body what is the query params what are the resource params so for every request suppose i uh, on your web server a client says i have hit this request at this particular point of time but there was another can you please tell me what the error was so you need to log those things inside your log files so you can write a logging middleware in express and there is another middleware that is get route middleware so every time after logging the request detail inside a file it will pass the information or pass the context to the get route middleware so client request comes logging is done it writes some logs and it calls next function inside it and the uh responsibility will be passed or the request or response object will be passed to the get route middleware that this client is actually calling so you can see you need to just write few lines of code inside here only that is a single middleware and it can handle the logging for 10 20 30 how many route, uh, routes that you have written or either way you need to write this logging code inside every get route or post route or delete route so this middleware is present in between what this request and the get route middleware or every route that you have defined or and in between the request uh, boundary that is present here so this comes in middle so it is called middleware so if it is successfully done then you will get a response so this is what middleware are in express and you need to keep some point into your mind that every middleware has access to request response and next and middleware is the name because it comes in middle of your re request and response cycle so we'll see the details of middleware in subsequent videos uh, so this was all about introduction of middleware in express so if you like my channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video please give a